Hello! Welcome to my third tutorial! And this tutorial I'm going to be talking about making a radar for CSGO! Yay! Um, first, uh, the, the radar is a little bit different in CSS and uh, there are other tutorials but I want to do this one because one of the first steps you have to do is to set the video settings uh, in one 024 on the right hand side. Uh, this is the, my highest resolution and I bet other mappers will have that problem too. And I found a way to make it work seamlessly. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is to go into the map that you want to make the radar for. Ideally it will have been already finished uh, but you might have to still do some modifications. So for my map I'm going to go to the cliff, that's not its map, the cliff. Uh, okay, so first thing you can see is that I already have a radar for this map, but that radar is the in-game radar and we want to do the overview radar, which is the one that you see when you die or when you're spectating. Uh, and it's a color one, so I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do both of them. Uh, but yeah, ideally when you finish you will see the radar like that on the end. Okay, so once you're in your map, you join whatever thing you want. And you're going to All right, gentlemen, this is it. Bot, bot kick. And I need to change my sound. Okay, so I had to send this to change the sound, so all echo should be gone now. Gone now. Um, let's wait for this. Go. Okay. Uh, so then you want to go into into SV cheats into SV cheats one SV cheats one seal draw hot zero that removes all the noise there. Uh, if you have it, disable the net graph. Um, then go to our draw view model zero that removes my weapon. And remove this skybox, so our skybox zero. And I like to remove the fog, uh, fog, enable zero and uh, fog override, override one, okay. Then uh, no clip, I have it set up with R to no clip quickly. And you can see the level above. So now you're gonna position yourself on top of the map and you're going to set this uh, command uh, CL level overview and a good number to start is number four uh, so just generally oh yeah uh, once you're here you cannot move uh, higher up you can only move to the sides so what controls uh, the altitude is the value you put in so five uh six even further away um for me i'm going to put five. Oh wait that's the wrong yeah five um you can see on the top that there is some uh, area that the players don't get so it's actually uh from here all the way come from here i can see my whole level uh one thing to remember is we don't have the resolution of one Two eight zero and oh sorry sorry one zero two four yeah we don't have the resolution so we're gonna have to go into Photoshop and modify this but before we do that you can notice in the bump site that it's broken um that's because if I set this to zero it brings me back down you can see the bump site is destroyed and that's when I go in it looks okay but when I leave it's destroyed. Uh, so one of the modifications you have to do now before you take the picture for the radar is to go back in Hammer and modify all of that. So, for example, from a map, I will change that block to be a funk detail instead of a funk breakable, so they don't disappear. Also, the the uh, dynamic here, the dynamic models, could also be changed. Well, I think it removes all dynamic objects, uh, so we're kind of limited there, for example, this little cart. 
So yeah, mostly just brushwork that you want to modify. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so going to hammer and do that. Okay. Once you do that, um, I'm gonna go to my map. It's good to compile it again in the best final compile, so it looks good. So mine is the cliff, cliff, radar, and that's a good name for your radar map. So we load. Okay, so once the radar is loaded, we have to go again. Uh, you probably have to do it all of the commands again, like bot kick. We will make some regret this day. And the fog and everything. Uh, it's already set up for me because I didn't log out from the game. But if you logged out from the game and got back in, you're probably gonna have to set them up. I'll write those down in the description of the video for you. Um, and I also gonna post the tutorial that I followed when I was making my own, which uh, which this video wouldn't exist without that video. I mean that tutorial. Uh, so yeah, now when I leave, you notice that everything is back in there. Like uh, things don't get destroyed. Uh, you can remove the skybox if you want. It didn't. I didn't. But you can remove it and it re reduces the amount of loading time. Um. So okay. So now we have to go again and set up um, CL level overview, and I'm gonna set it up to five for me. And now we want to position ourselves so that I can see some things still disappear, like in the little. Yeah, in the little thingy and shadow something gets mixed up, but those are small details that I can modify in Photoshop. Okay, so n once you're looking at your level the way you want, before we take the picture, that's really, really important, before we take the picture, open up the console, and you will see here, overview scale of 5, position and your uh, X and Y. It's really important that you write those down. Sorry. Um. Okay. So then you take the picture with F12 or print screen. It's all the same. Uh, uh, you can see my little guns on the side. I can remove those with Photoshop. It doesn't matter. And once you take those pictures, um, we leave the game and go into Photoshop where the next part of the video is gonna be okay okay so once we're here um, uh, the way to find your your picture that you take um, you select it I have it selected and then show on disk uh, if you didn't if you close that window by mistake you can click on the game on the favorites or library whatever and then browse down to screenshots and it will show you up and I have it here and you can see the whole location is uh, program files, steam, user data, some number, some number, remote, some number and screenshots um, yeah I don't know why they did that, uh, it's completely weird like the path is completely I don't know, just doesn't make any sense to me um, so yeah, once we have that over here, we're gonna have to Photoshop. Oh, Photoshop, Photoshop. Oh, it's here. Yep, and uh, drag it out. Okay, we have it here. Uh, and I think I screwed up there. Um, uh, because I because the textures in all of the Valve games and probably every like game out there I think I don't know um, are of the power of 2 that means that there must be 256 pixels uh, 512 pixels by, by 512 and the magic number which we want now is uh, 1024 pixels so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new a new Photoshop uh, project, canvas, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, and I'm gonna have it to go 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels 
and uh, okay, okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know where the other one went. I don't, I don't care. Um, so now I have to create a new new layer. Duplicate state. Nope, nope. Layer, layer. There we go. Yep. New layer. I delete this one because it's not uh, see-through. Although it doesn't really matter here. And I'm gonna make another one just in case I need uh, this layer thing is too 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 small. Anyways, um, so we drag again the picture out, and I have it here. And uh, you can notice it's a little bit weird uh, because there is a lot of that space and if I just compile that it won't show up because it's all scaled down so what we have to do is to make it fit uh, 1024 on the vertical axis and we have to stretch it up pretty much completely um, it helps if your map is squarish like mine so I'm gonna look for the scale tool which I think is crop tool, quick selection. I'm just gonna go like that. And I see how much it changes on, on top. So, first thing I'm gonna do is drag it on top, drag it on the bottom. And I noticed that it grew by a uh, 113.78%. So, I'm gonna have to do that here for the uh, other one. There we go, so enter, I think, yeah, it works. Place the file, yes, place the file. And now I have the base, uh, the base, so this is the really important uh, step if you don't have the proper resolution on your screen. Uh, you're gonna lose some, uh, you know, it's gonna be scale, so it's not gonna be uh, as pretty as it could be, but, but it's gonna do its job for now. Um, so yeah, now the next step will be to modify it, to add the bomb sites here, the spawn sites. Uh, for example, if I have uh, spots where people go underground, I will put some lines in there to indicate that uh, you're going underground uh, and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not gonna show you that on this tutorial. I, I, if there's enough demand, I will make another tutorial for Photoshop, for making radars exclusively. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but yeah, so once you have that done okay so once you modified all of your map you have you're gonna have to how do you call it two 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 files per se um one for the radar which I called raw which will be overview actually and this one which is uh, just the just the radar normal name um okay once you do that once you have that we need to save that as a DDS file um thing is that's a plugin that we have to download uh from the outside. So let me look that up for um so yeah for Photoshop I'm gonna use this one which is called NVIDIA Texture Tool for Adobe Photoshop. It has a bunch of uh utilities which I don't know how to use uh, unfortunately. But I know how to use the DDS plugin. Um and DDS is the, the extension uh, for all the textures for radars in CSGO. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that uh, that link there. And there is a download button somewhere here. Yeah, 64 and 32 bits. So just download the proper version. If you don't know what version you have, you go to help and uh, legal info. No, it's I think it's one of these system info or something like that. And it gives you the, the the version that you have. Oops, that's the wrong. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay. So once you install that, you know it's an installation. It's pretty easy. I'm sure you can handle that yourself. You will realize. You will realize that it's not the one I want. Uh, you will realize if I go to my Steam. Come on. Global Offensive and uh, CSGO Resource Overviews You know, there are all of the DDS files over here So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a new one Okay And then let's say 
Dust. Dust is a pretty it's a pretty plain map, so it's a good example. So you you see you have two. One is the radar, which is the black and white, kinda like this one. And the other one is the spectate, which will be this one for my map. If you use if you use those textures and those names it will work out. Uh so I'm gonna show you what you can do now with the plugin. So now we can actually just see these textures for myself, just the uh, default size, and yeah, we can see them. They have all of this other funky thing which you can do if you want or not. If you don't want to do that, I, that didn't load, that didn't load. Oh, that's because I'm bugged here. Yeah, place the file. Okay, now, now I drag it. Okay, yeah. So yeah, you you, you can see the difference yourself. See, um, I need to place this one first. Yeah. So yeah, it's black and white, and one is color for the spectators and stuff like that. Um, and you can see usually the line goes around where uh, the bison is and the spawn sites and the bomb sites, and they didn't actually chop this bit over here, which is interesting. Um, it's chopped in there though. That's interesting. Probably they overlooked that. I'm gonna leave mine like this because I like how it looks and they're pretty close to what I'm doing. So yeah, it, it's it's good to put in the map a uh, strip line or some source to indicate yourself uh, where the bomb site ends and the bomb site begins. Uh, and that's just a visual cue to the player too, uh, because I've seen maps where it's just the decal that it's A or B, and then I have no idea how why what what zone it is actually. Uh, so it's really hard to strategize of where it's best to put the bomb. Okay, so once we have that, I'm going to say now this one, because it's fairly close to that one. So the only difference is just the constructs and some uh, some spotting here, which I don't really care about. Um, I'm probably gonna have to recompile again because this is not the final lighting. Uh, but it's gonna serve as an example now. So go save as file save as. Then I'm gonna go to gonna go in the in the how do you call it desktop uh, because I like to place everything there and then just move it and I'm gonna choose the DDS which should be somewhere around here it is no DDS there it is and the name it's gonna have the same nomenclature as in uh, the Valve game damn it there we go my second monitor and it is the cliff Radar Spectate There we go Spectate DDS Save And then we go you know, Alpha and Alpha You can just do whatever there is You know Save Alpha information is going to be lost It's okay I don't care about the alpha information uh, I should probably do some additions over here Oh, it's okay for me. Uh, okay, yeah. And it's saved now. I'm gonna go to the desktop over here. If all of this, I have so many things open, it's ridiculous. And the Cliff Radar DDS, it's there. Next step is to drag it out to your uh, to this folder. It's a common Counter Strike Global Offensive CSGO resource overviews. And you're going to create, uh, you can just actually copy paste one and then just change the values there. Um, but yeah, you just uh, put them your map name with its own text file. Then the map name and radar for the DDS, that's the actual radar that the player sees when he's playing. And then the expected for when player is expected and it's all self explanatory. Uh so now I don't remember actually how to do the expected, so I'm just gonna open up the dust two and uh cancel yeah and uh my own the cliff and I paste that there. So yeah you're gonna see probably something like this, so just copy this and paste it to yours and this is really important so it can find everything uh, the material so it's there 
and then the position and the position x and y, the scale, rotate, zoom, and yeah, okay. So yeah, you can use this value to zoom in in case you kind of screwed up, you know, like your resolution is different or something else. But I prefer doing my escalation of the level because the command that we use, the seal overview, is actually it's made again for 1024 pixels. That's why I had to do the scaling. Um, okay, so now if we go to this little tutorial where I based this video, uh, this is the example and everything, and yeah, you see that the map X cores and the map Y cores, those are the ones that you used, yeah, specifically that the ones you used. Uh, the ones that show up in the CL level overview and you go ahead and put those in um, and it should work out uh, but it probably won't and one of the issues is that the Y scale or one of these two is probably gonna be okay but one is gonna be translated and, and, and the key word here is translated Tra that means that it's not zooming it's, it's just moved a little bit to one side, to the left or to the right um, and so what that does I shouldn't use Camtasia here actually um, yeah well what what that does is that if the player is actually um, I, should, I could make a little new layer here to explain that um, if the player say is here I'm gonna use a blue one if the player is uh, I'm gonna opacity there. If the player is here, uh, the radar is going to show that maybe he is actually here, or maybe he's actually here. So the y value is okay, but it just translated a little bit. Uh, what you do is you just have the game open, and then you have the text file open, and you just modify this value. So for example, if, you, if it is like that, like this is my real value. I'm gonna draw an arrow here. This is the real value, and it showed this one, and uh, and it was like 4,000, and then I go and say, well, let's try 5,000, and I see that it kind of moves now. Instead of being there, now he's actually here. So I autocorrect again to maybe four. 4,800, and and now it works okay, and yeah, so that part you have to do by trial and error you don't have to exit the game, that's the cool thing you can just uh, modify the value here click save and then you just uh, map your map and it reloads again and, and you don't have to do pre-close and everything so just reload the map with the console and it'll work out uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead and try this out I should see the spectate um, the aspect of this one, I should be able to see. So I'm just gonna close everything. No, I don't wanna save anything. No, 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 no. Okay, so now I will see you in game. You can see now that the actual radar loaded in there is the the expected one instead of the old one. Um, so that's good. Um, blah, blah, blah. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope this uh, helped you. In your own. I hope I hope this helped you. And uh, I plan to make the actual Photoshop, so you can. So if you don't know how to use Photoshop, you can learn how to use it for this tutorial. And uh, yep, yeah. thank you.